everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, we're out here in uh, Africa again, rejoining the crew of uh, STS-7, uh, this particular model Shuriken, which was the first one ever to land with its engines intact, which I was super excited about. The problem is, is that uh, recovering the vessel doesn't do anything. I mean, it takes me back to the Space Center and tells me that the crew is there. However, it doesn't give me money for the parts and it doesn't give me any credit for the science that's contained uh, within it. And then when I go to the tracking station, it is still here with its complement of crew, which is ironic because they also show up in the astronaut complex as available. And um, in our particular financial situation, which you can see here, uh, I scrapped a rocket. It was a backup for the Saturn orbitals mission. That netted us about 77 grand, which is good. Uh, it's something. Not uh, a whole lot, but we can certainly try to do some grindy missions to uh, make some more money with that. Uh, but I, w I would like the refund for this so that uh, when I go to build another STS mission, all of these parts are available and the build time will be something like 25 days or something ridiculous. Um, but I can't quite figure out what's going on with that. But uh, I've also had an issue with uh, science that has been transmitted. It says up here, science added, but this number doesn't seem to go up. So I'm wondering if there's something on here that's just glitchy and weird. And I mean, if I have to detonate this thing, I will. I, I, I don't really want to. But uh, we're going to get Bob out here on uh, EVA and have him just climb down here and take the data from that. And let's see if, uh, oh, come on, Bob. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, let's, no. <laughs> I would like you to climb up and get off of the shuttle. Climb, good job there, buddy. All right, and we will also have you take the data from here job. Alright, all items collected, recon scan from Northern Hemisphere, recon scan from Southern Hemisphere. Now, if you could please, sir, oh, that's a, might be kind of a drop. Well, you're going for it. <laughs> Boink. Right there? Okay. He's okay, everybody. He's okay. And we're just going to pull him away here. Now, he does have some science data on him, so right, we're just going to Keep track of this number and see if we can't recover just him and see what happens. Wondering if there's something on the ship that's glitched. Okay, hey, look at that. We've got science now. <laughs> uh, yeah, all, all 30 of it. That's, that's excellent. I'll take that. Yep, and our number went up. That's fantastic. So, uh, okay. That's interesting. And crew, Bob Kerman. Okay. Whoa. Um, what? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Now suddenly we get the ship back, too. Yeah, I mean, at 50%, but, you know, we got uh, 27 grand. Hey, that that's weird because I totally didn't recover the ship, but it's it's listed, and those two back also. Well, I guess we tricked the KSB into behaving itself. That's fantastic, and we got money. I'm just gonna check the tracking station and make sure it's not still listed out there, because I even if this becomes like an exploit, where I can just keep recovering the shuttle over and over and over again to make my money back, I I don't think that's the right thing to do. Or a good way of going about it. Okay, good. It's it is not listed there. Fantastic. All right, now on to problem number two. Row four. And here was the little guy as of just a couple of days ago, gleefully following his waypoints around as he was uh, trying to orient to uh, point south to get some sun on these solar panels. Uh, this is my first time really using the MechJeb built-in waypoint manager follower thing, and it was working extraordinarily well. I was actually able to walk away for upwards of an hour and just uh, kind of let him scoot along his merry way. Obviously, all of this footage has been sped up in post, but I never once came back to him being flipped over or turned about or anything. 
And then, well, I come back. And there he is. Um, sunk way below the surface. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he made it uh, several kilometers from his landing site. Only for me to um, you know, hit the brakes on him, set up a, a new course, save the game, and then come back to it the next day. And uh, he was suddenly subterranean. And none of these inputs seem to work. He also, I mean, he doesn't have a connection, but that shouldn't inhibit my ability to steer or my ability to fire the RCS thrusters. Which, oh yeah, those were empty anyway. I forgot about that. But yeah, nothing nothing here responds. You can hear the motors whirring, but they're not doing anything, and this makes me really sad. Because I had big plans for this little guy. But uh, also, he seems to be glitching to the point where it will uh, transmit science home. Or it'll say it will, but then it won't give me credit for it. And sometimes, just like uh, in the video where we landed him, it, you'll hit transmit and then just nothing will show up up here in the corner. He just does nothing at all, dead to the world. And so it was a very, very heavy heart that I will have to terminate this mission. I, I have tried reloading the game, reverting back to a previous save file. Uh, every single one, including the one where it was before I even started driving him anywhere, when he was just at his landing site, I took a quick save there, load it back in, and he's in this spot. Um, and I'm very upset by this. This is just one of those glitches where I'm just angry, but, uh, yeah, it is, uh, oh man, I can't even detonate the mission. Let me see if we can wait to get a signal up here. We should, uh, shortly have a satellite overhead. Oh, good. Good. I can't even fast forward time. That's the depths to which this goes. Yeah, hitting uh, alt period or alt comma does nothing either. Yeah. And I'm wondering if this being glitched out is causing a lot of other problems that we've been seeing lately. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go back to the Space Center and blow him up from there. I was at least hoping to get a nice little kaboom out of it, but oh well. So we'll jump back to the tracking station. Yeah, we'll go find our uh, row 4. <sighs> Terminate. Oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> Will not terminate. Okay, looks like it, we got it that time. That one's in the air. Anything landed on the moon? Well, actually, we can go ahead and terminate that one also. Just to kind of clear things up a bit. And all of the uh, landing stuff, too. All right, and hopefully that will clear up some of this bugginess. I can only hope. Okay, good. It didn't take all of our money away. So here at Mission Control, in our available contracts, uh, we have three going. We're going to take just something super simple that we actually have to fly. Uh, probably like sounding rockets. Rocket high wants 3.4 mil. I think we can do that. It doesn't you now that's seventeen hundred, and that means we'll obviously hit sounding rocket medium. Take that too. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go uh, all the way back to our super earliest tech. No, I did not mean to hit that. Slap together a little sounding rocket and just make sure that everything can still transmit that our science collection is working. 
and that our uh, contract payout is working. All right, so we're going to be keeping everything as dirt cheap as we can. The absolute dirtiest of dirt cheapiest. Yes, none avionics. All right, I'm going to slap this together. I'll pick you guys up in just a second, but uh, best believe this is going to be so simple it's dumb. Yeah. Oh, I'd part inventory. That's all I was looking for. All right, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so our build time on this is two days and 20 hours. Well worth it. Uh, it's got a science experiment. It's got uh, a little over 4,000 meters per second of Delta V. It's going to go straight up and hopefully we'll uh, knock out some of these contracts for it. Um, y you know what? Let's. We don't have to actually build. We can simulate. Uh, we do have to actually build it if we want to get credit for it. So uh, we're just going to run simulation for 15 minutes. It's going to set us back 119 bucks. The actual cost of building this is uh, just a little under two grand. Um, yeah. All right. Throttle set to full. There is no SAS. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, uh, let's let it go. And radio in. Transmit. Oh, boy. 1%, huh? 2%. This thing's going to be at its apogee before that thing finishes transmitting. Well, at least we're going straight up. Temperature spike. Ooh, like you're staging. Stage in the Araby. All right, well, we're uh, we're on our last remaining engine. We are up to 18% data transmitted from our atmospheric analysis right after we left the launch pad. I don't think we're gonna get another run on that. I should have, I don't know. This is the only experiment we haven't run. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> it's the only way for me to verify that we're actually getting paid in science, that is. That's up to 20-something. Oh, good. We're uh, starting to wobble off kilter. Added weight from that experiment is finally having its toll. As long as we continue to go up. Oh, this poor goofy little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to break into the millions range. And that's it. Engine is spent. We are going to get to uh, half a million. So I guess we'll just have to see what this uh, data transmission comes out to. But uh, I won't make you sit through it. You can just uh, enjoy some scenery here. It is very pretty. However... Mind-numbingly frustrated. Did Florida just disappear? Oh, there it is. That's good. Thought we lost you there for a second. Telemetry unit done. No science added. It should try to give me the credit for it, even though it will revert later. So we still have a bug. We're going to hit the 450 kilometer mark on our contract soon. So we'll just see if that one at least pays out. All right. We uh, bring up our resources. One. 
Well, I guess we're going to have to actually run the flight and see what happens then. No big deal. This rocket won't do everything we need it to anyway. So, back to the Space Center. Alright, and we're back out here at the launch pad. Um, I decided to just go ahead and do some of this on my own. Uh, I had a couple of distractions pop up along the way, so... Uh, I do apologize for that, but uh, seeing as how this is a really routine, mundane kind of thing, I don't know if I'm actually going to sit here and try to bore you guys with all the details. Uh, just going to let you know that there's going to be uh, a lot more of these that I'm going to be doing uh, off camera, as well as some uh, science farming from things that are already placed in orbits and uh, destinations beyond to try to uh, get some of this money back. Uh, I do have one uh, mission that was already cooking when the uh, the big monetary hit came down, and that was a rover that we're going to be deploying to Mars at our next window, which is coming up uh, very shortly, actually. So we will have some more interesting kind of on-track type things to do, but uh, in the meantime, I am going to be doing a whole lot of uh, science farming uh, amongst other things that I'm totally not going to bore you guys with because, well, that would just be kind of silly like my forgetting to stage that was extra silly so then there's that so yeah, you can you can tell what kind of mindset I've had going on here uh, coming into this but uh, no worries, the program will persist we will carry on and we will push through and we will still be able to accomplish a, a lot of our objectives, although on most certainly a longer timeline than what I would have hoped. So uh, I'm just going to leave you guys with the outro and maybe a little bit more footage of this reaching its altitude and hopefully completing a contract for us and watching us getting paid because that sure would be good. Talk about a game breaking bug. Anyway. That's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it, and uh, I promise we'll be back in business come next time. So until then, see you later.